Hello and welcome to Podtaculars Achieving Halo. I'm your host Godzilla T. And on this episode we'll be doing the seventh mission, Reunion. It's where Blue Team gets back together and goes hunt for Cortana. And as you see me loading up the mission, we'll start going through the achievements. First one is No Witnesses. Destroy the Phaeton, or not Phaeton, Phantom, at the Covenant Camp on Heroic Difficulty. Next one is Take a Hike. Traverse the Canyon without using a Phaeton on Heroic. And then the last one is Together Again, Complete Mission 7. The reason I am doing this one solo is because the uh, destroying the... No Covenant uh, Phantom no is next to impossible Long or impossible no on co-op because it Rocket disappears too quick. For a reason. Search ahead. Console lit up as I approached. We have four legendary weapons I'll be picking up in this that? run as long as with the all the intel and two skulls. There are seven Access pieces of intel, two skulls, and four weapons. And if you'll take a look up there to the right, or sorry, left-hand corner, you'll see a map of the area. And those will be popping up throughout the level. Cortana. Cortana, do you read? We get to play around with three different elevators in this, so we'll get going here. Love the way Blue Team teleports through what the shield. What is this place? Forerunner planet. Beyond that, who knows? Wherever we are. Cortana brought us here. She's out there. Our first somewhere. piece of intel, Chief, intel is up here radio. around the corner. There was a lot of uh, just as you finish coming around this bend, There's you'll civilians. see a path off to the I left. Know. She may not have known what would happen. And if she did, we'll learn what's going on once we find her. This place is incredible. It gives me the creeps. Bio readings are unlike anything we've previously recorded. There's a formalness and precision to it all. All right, we're to the end of the bend, and the path is just right up here to the left. Just go right up here, and at the end, you'll find the first piece of intel sitting on a crate, along with a needler if you are so inclined to pick it up. Accessing that console activated that large structure. There's our first piece of intel. Now, you go straight up this path, and we're going to go after two pieces. The second piece of intel. And what you can do is you can go ahead and get started, have Sounds your like teammates go ahead and go down there and start killing stuff. Ready up, blue team. And here's your second piece of intel right here. Take this position. Sure. Trying to get the uh, other team members to go down there and start killing stuff. There's your second piece of intel. And then we'll come up here to get your first skull. Also a sword and a carbine. You can listen to the singing grunt. And whenever you feel that you've heard enough of him, you can hit X and give him a punt. See ya! And there you go. You have found the Grant Birthday Skull. Now there's the map of the next area. Pay attention to where that rocket launcher and railgun are, because we're going to be needing those. But take your time. You take your time. Clear out this first area, just so they're not shoot you, shooting you in the butt when you're trying to climb up the rocks here on the side. I do have timing on, well, scoring on, so you can see the time it takes me to complete the level. I don't quite make part-time on this one, because uh, I took some time and ran around circles. But if you climb up here, right here on this path to the right, you'll find that rocket launcher and that railgun, and your third piece of intel right up here in this cave. There's your piece of intel. Now, grab the rocket launcher and the railgun. You want to have the rocket launcher out first. Continue on this path up to the right. And if you look out to the left, you'll see that phantom. Do two rockets and three railgun shots, and it will destroy the phantom. I do recommend you do this on heroic, because on legendary, that phantom gets a lot tougher. Okay. 
There you go. No witnesses. That is a rare achievement. And then you can use the uh, rest of the ammo just to kind of clear out this next area. Or if you want to save it and give it to the uh, other other Spartans, you can. But there's more than enough ammo in this uh, level. So once you do that... Railgun, take care of the elites, and then I'm all out of ammo. Good eye, Spartan. So now I'll go back to the cave, get my guns. I would recommend you switch out for the carbines. There's plenty of carbine ammo on this level. Uh, as far as UNSC stuff, there's not much. And I got to pick up that another piece of intel again. Another piece of intel again. If you can continue on this path up to the right, you'll find two fuel rods and a sniper rifle. See if I can get uh, Kelly to pick up one of these. Take this, Spartan. Copy. No, looks like they're just going to run right into the uh, piece of Covenant Take crate, or the Covenant right crate here. Move, blue team. Sure. Nope, we're just going to run into weapon. the crate. All right, but if you come right over here, you'll find a beam rifle. You can pick it up if you want. It's your choice. Take care of this elite, because I don't want him shooting him while I'm going after the first legendary weapon, which is the Talon of the Lost. And it's right down here in this little crevice. Get moving. Copy. Right away. The needler's pretty useful. Uh, you don't get a whole lot of ammo, so you will run out pretty quick. Um, Matter of fact, I think it, I make it just past this plasma turret, and then I switch it out for another carbine. Sorry, I had to do some adjustments there. Like I said, you got this uh, elite on the turret. Like I said, it works pretty good for taking elites out. There we go, and that pretty much depletes the ammo supply. Like I said, there's plenty of carbines around here, so it's just as, just as well to grab a grab the carbine. Take these coordinates. Roger, Roger. Now, what remember? recommend you shoot that jackal right there first because it'll sit there and snipe at you and then take care of that grunt because he's got a fuel rod and yeah, be careful watch out for that phantom it tear you up pretty quick Here to the right. It's got a wall you can break through to kind of give you some cover. Uh, there's also a fuel rod up here on the right. But I want to take care of this turret first. Get a pretty good shot on that turret and take care of that jackal. You got a carbine and he'll snipe at you. And with that fine sniping, you can see why I don't do multiplayer videos. Oh. 
you have another jackal up here on the right shooting at you. So I would take him out as quickly as possible. We'll clear out the rest of these enemies and then I'll show you the next piece of intel. Path is shielded. next piece intel is right here underneath this platform we have this forerunner terminal clear. here and that's your fourth piece of intel almost like someone was trying to keep the covenant out but not us yeah you can come up here and refill on carbine ammo and there's usually one or two plasma grenades up there as well it could have ended up anywhere Run up here to elevator number two, and there's some uh, suppressor and I believe a light rifle over there by the window. The signal again. Activate the console. Seems like we're supposed to. Okay, as soon as we get down to the bottom of this elevator, I will show you where to find the pool of radiance. And this one I do recommend you pick up because it is very handy when... Very handy in the later in the level. I won't spoil it for you yet. It's too much fun. But uh, it will come in real handy in uh, this upcoming area. But once you get right out here to the outside... You want to climb these rocks to the left. And there you go. One pool of radiance. It's another one of those. I wonder. Have hey, just come over here and go across the bridge. Any ships caught in the slip space bubble would be pulled through. This next area, we got two more pieces of I intel. First one's behind a breakable wall. You answered her call. Why? What do you intend when you reach her? And right over here to the left, break through that wall. And if you look down, you see the when Forerunner see Terminal. Her. There's intel number five. I've come to bring her home. If you understood what she has become, you would not speak of such juvenile consoles as home. Now, you want to go right up here to the right, and you want to kill that guy first. Because he has a binary rifle, and he will melt you. Even on normal difficulty, he's really annoying, so I would recommend you take care of the, that particular soldier first. Move up. The carbine's pretty effective against him. Uh, light rifle works a lot better, so I would recommend you grab a light rifle. A couple of pulse grenades. And there's your light rifle. Now you're going to have a bunch of soldiers and soldier captains up here. The soldier captains have splinter turrets, so you definitely want to try to keep, take them out at range. Light rifle works good for that. There's one right there. We should keep moving. I shall spare the inevitable suffering of your betrayal. 
The mantle of responsibility belongs to Kotana and the other created. Definitely watch out for that watcher. Make sure he's not regenerating any damaged units there. Soldier is your target. Roger. Splinter Turk works really good for taking care of these soldiers too. Usually two direct hits to kill them. Soldier captain nearby. And here is your sixth piece of intel. There's a little path right here to the right, allow you to come up here. I was trying to bring the turret with me, but it wasn't working. But if you get one, sometimes you get lucky and you can kill a soldier while he's up here, or on this level where you can right down here in this area, and then you can walk the turret up. Or if you get real creative with your clamber, you can uh, kind of throw it up there. All right, this is the area where the Pool of Radiance comes in real handy. What I'd recommend is you come over here, break through this wall, come up here to the left, because there's a binary rifle up here. And you can use it to take out soldiers, or you can use it to kill the knights. I would recommend using it on the knights because they have incendiary cannons and they can make you have a really bad day. Wasn't paying attention to the warden. Luckily, I was in a recoverable spot. Back in it. But you get, got these plates you can hide behind for the warden, so. I'd recommend you come up here to the right side and clear out the rest of the soldiers and crawlers before taking on the warden. I wish I could be that accurate with a bolt shot. Future is now here's where the pool of radiance comes in. Get lucky, and he just kind of stood there. 
So occasionally you can get lucky. Get fire on the warden. But it does a pretty good job of taking care of warden. Now the next thing I'll show you is the River of Light. And it is right here in this little bitty cave on the right hand side of the level. Chief, you climb, hello? climb in here. Cortana. And there John, you go. You made it. Oh my I I can't believe you're here. And whatever you do well, when you're coming up this hill, make sure that you pay world. attention to what you're doing. Visitation Unlike me. Genesis. When I went and looked at bridge for you. The warden will be back looked at soon. my uh, list and walked right off the edge. Luckily, I got a uh, checkpoint there. And how did he survive that? That's just not even right. But we'll come back up here and grab that river of light again. Chief, because it hello? is kind of handy in this next area. John, you made it. Oh my, I, I can't. Okay, the next here. achievement we're going to be we're going for you're on a is. Level. We need to traverse this next area without the using the Phaeton, which, I mean, it's easy, it's a pretty oh, yes. simple path, it's not overly complicated mind, or overly fights. defended. Chief said you were destroyed. And there's your seventh and last terminal. And we'll run up a here and go to our third and the last galaxy. elevator. How are you still active? Entering the domain. Touching this place. It cured me. It's like the water of life for AIs. How do we get to you? By accessing the gateway. The big building putting on a light show. You already triggered most of its activation sequence. Just like I knew you would. Just one more to go. Why does the warden think he needs to protect you from me? There's so much to explain. It'll be easier when we're face to face. Yeah. Try me. The cure for rampancy I found. Our means fourth and AIs final piece, or immortal. fourth and final legendary kind of weapon in this path as well. Long -term planning. So it kind of works out that if you walk it, you can pick this weapon up AIs too. Can assume the forerunner's mantle of responsibility. And once there is peace, we can focus on poverty, hunger, illness. But Warden believes some will resist our help, and he's afraid. If you want, you can go off to the right and go to Sounds the Phaetons, or you can come up this path to the left. And the next the legendary weapon is the Twin the Jewels of Mithrilian. Say that ten times like fast. That, anyway, it's up on top of one well, of these rocks. And unfortunately, when I was fi uh, filming this, I drew a blank and forgot which rock it was. But if you're coming up on the path, this coming up the path this will be on your left hand side and you just climb up this and right there yeah, it's a it's a relatively powerful weapon I mean you can use it to take care of turrets or you use it on soldiers or knights if you're playing co-op it's really handy but this pretty much is the last area for fighting, so. You know, this is really the last area where you really need. Um... Watch the fire but what you do is you, if you wait till they open up to start firing, and it's a single shot, to kill them. And you get 10 rounds, so you've got quite a bit of ammo. Wait for it to start building a charge, and away it goes. Kind of binary rifle kind of makes an interesting sound too.
Yeah, Fred, I already killed the turret. Focus on that turret. Yeah, it's just a little narrow little path, a lot of climbing and going across man cannons. And we got our last night here. There's your overcharge. Pick up a fresh incineration cannon. This is just a normal one, so. I was done playing with it, so I figured I'd swap it out for a light rifle. We're getting almost to the end of this area, so... Man, they're awful accurate with those turrets. So you can pretty much run this however you want. The exit is just ahead. Is that there is ways? your last man lift yes. going Almost into there. the final area where we pick up the second skull. And there's our achievement take a hike. But once you get to that point, you there's no other fighting. We just need to run over here and grab the skull, and we'll be... have everything done for this level. And there's the second skull. Now we just need to run to the end, and we'll be all done. Here. I didn't think I'd see you again. I'm here now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this level. It's a lot of fun to do. A uh, lot of interesting weapons to use. And there's our final achievement. Together again. Completing Mission 7. Well, I hope if you enjoyed it, please leave us a like. If you'd like to see more content, be sure to subscribe. And I will catch you on the next Achieving Halo.